Hello boys and girls, welcome to Pico on my shoulder as I discover new food. By the way you can find it in Steam Greenlight, also you can upload it uh, on GOG. Uh, I'm gonna put the links down in the description. We have made it into the arcades. It's like the green doodad in uh, in Killjoys. I mean the green goop. Okay, same. <laughs> I bet there's some interesting gunk underneath there. Okay, how far can we come up here? Um, this one's too close to the camera. some of my meta knowledge now so basically I know that what do I know I'm trying to remember the short story about Proto J this ain't him I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that this this is him I don't know Let's try the machines first. Oh, bummer. Hello. How's it going? Hey, what? How's <laughs> it? Do me a favor, yeah? Shut up. I've got triple ships, neutron torpedoes, and six antimatter bombs. If you make me lose my life just before I beat level 7 with the high score of 1.21 billion points, I'ma shoot your face off. Sounds fair to me. <laughs> oh yeah, baby! Who's the mother man? Who's your daddy? 1.3 big ones, baby! Winner! <laughs> Congratulations, man. Yeah, yeah. Who the hell are you, human? I was thinking the same thing. You're the only other pure blood human in here, and you don't even have a mech mod like me. What's your story, winner? winner. Very perceptive. Very perceptive, Sherlock. You a cop, eh? Let me guess. 
supposed to land me a PD knock. Yeah. Well, I was a CPD wolf. Emphasis on the was. The Chrome Boys, with all their illicit biz, wouldn't give VIP passes out to just any civilian. And they only issue those nano swarm launchers to high ranking Coastlandia law enforcement and military. And you still have all your nature given Lego pieces on you, so that rules out military. Give the Boy Scout a Medal of Honor and a lifetime vacation to Neo Hawaii. That's right. I'm a CPD narcotics officer. So, you're a drug enforcement agent. What the hell are you doing in plain sight in the headquarters of the biggest drug trafficking gang in Dickinston? I'll tell you what. You beat me at SpaceX. Uh-oh. And I'll give you the full KGB Stacy dossier on yours truly. The whole story. What do you say? Uh, you want me to beat you at this ancient retro arcade game? What are you, 14? Hey, asshole. You want to know what's going down or not? Get your goddamn quarters out, do your finger stretches, and get to button mashing, or get the flak out of my face. Oh shit, I smell a minigame. And I suck at side-scrollers. What do you mean that's not working? Put some coins in here. You ready to blast some 8 bit aliens and save the cosmos? <gasps> I'm gonna save the I'm gonna game first. I'm gonna sit this one out. I've got the cybernetic equivalent of rheumatoid arthritis anyway. The only way to win is not to play the game, right? Yeah, exactly. Wrong. <laughs> Get out of here, loser. You're cramping my style. I'm gonna save first. And I need some extra lights for my puny human eyes. Okay. You ready to blast some 8 bit aliens and save the cosmos? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm gonna own you like a neo feudal royal owns a debt slave. <laughs> Ready? What are the controls? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, hold on a sec. Let me figure out these controls. I haven't played one of these in ages. keyboard what the heck are you doing over there uh nothing let's play <laughs> oh you lose bitch shit shit don't get mad at the machine my man it's not in Terry's fault that you suck ass at their video games try again damn it Wait, I think I saw something in that junkie's brain chip about oh, the arcade games. Oh, we need the Maybe I should check the chip thingy. again. The Konami code. Uh, wait, how do I? Different code now. Can't remember. I think it was it was among the first results. Can't memorize shit. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Oh, okay.
I know that all the all the cool, cool kids know this by heart, but uh, when I grew up, I I never had access to uh, to these this shit. So I am a late bloomer. In fact, let me let me make myself a little memo. Ready to blast some 8 bit aliens and save the cosmos? Uh, yeah. I'm not a. Okay. Ready? Uh, hold on a sec. Let me figure out these controls. I haven't played one of these in ages. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Start. What the heck are you doing over there? Uh, nothing. Let's play. <laughs> How the hell are you? Doing? <laughs> I'm a fast learner. Hey, this is fun. That cyborg dinosaur just shot fifty lava blasts at you, and you were hit once. How the hell did you win? Son of a bitch! <laughs> hey, it's not Nintari's fault you got your ass handed to you by a noob. I don't know what kind of bullshit hacks you pulled off, buddy, but okay. You're alright. <laughs> Name's Hoyt. Detective Hoyt. Carl Carbon. Ex-Cop Carbon. So, what's going on? What the hell are you really doing here? You must not have made it far up the CPD totem pole, eh? I was dishonorably discharged before I made detective, if that's what you're asking. For what? Something I'd rather not talk about. Wait. Carbon. I remember that name in the headlines. You were the cop that shot the humanoid rioter, right? Killed an innocent? It's more complicated than that. <laughs> and, like I said, I don't want to talk about that. Hey. I get it, okay? I remember the first time I blew away a robot. At first it's like, it's just a smartphone with eyes, nose, mouth, not a human. But then you have to pull the trigger. Heavy stuff. But fine. Save it for therapy if you want. Enough about me. Who the hell are you? Well, let's just say I'm here more as a liaison for the Coast Landia government, rather than an enforcer. What? I make sure the drug thing doesn't get out of hand. I make so many arrests of low-level offenders, and in return, the Chrome Boys give me a percentage of their lithium profits. So you're basically a flacked-up, corrupt cop aiding and abetting a major organized robotic crime outfit? Jobs age Christ. <laughs> you gotta go throwing the C-word around, huh? What are you, 14? I'm part of a very intricate system, my friend. An orderly, well-oiled, harmonious neo-feudal system. We have millions, maybe billions of defective machines and half-human Franken-people thrown out by transhuman corporations trying to build the Ubermensch. Now, imagine if all those billions decided they wanted a piece of those fancy floating castles in the sky up there. What would happen, huh? World War Three, my friend. Chaos. Disorder. Drugs? Be it lithium or TV, E-Tube, Internet, games, these provide a pacifying opiate. They keep the less evolved, the defectives, those not entitled to a place in the heavens. Un... exhaust output. Corrupt? I'm doing a public service here, my friend. <laughs> I'm a philanthropist. That's a convenient rationalization to make when you're the one in the king's court. Hey, that's life. It's like this game here. You have the winners, who know how to game the system and make it to the top of the high score list. And then you have the losers, who disappear from history. 
in the game of neo-feudalism. You win, or you die. Obviously, you have the magic touch. You know how to game the system, my friend. I used to be a loser from Dickinson like you, working shit jobs for shit pay in a shithole. Then I figured out the cheat code, <laughs> how to game the system. Now we eat gold leaf burgers, have a flying car, crystal timeshare in the Stratoplex. You could be a winner if you want. Yeah, I know how these games work. Problem is, inequality has a weird way of coming back to lop the heads off the royalty, no matter how much bread and circuses you toss out. Always the Boy Scout, eh? Then there's the problem of living with yourself. Knowing you get to eat caviar and drive a flying Lexus while destroying thousands of lives. I mostly just don't think about it. It's <laughs> worked for me so far. Playing a lot of games like this helps. I will ask later. I will try to find him on my own first. Alright, Hoyt. I gotta go. Don't forget to talk to the big guy at the bar. Does he mean this one? So... Protégé should be shabby. Hey, you know where I can find Protégé? You better beat it, puto. I'm gonna dissect you. I'm <laughs> armed to my collection. Yeah, uh, I think I'll be needing my current appendages. Okay, bye. Okay, maybe he's not even in hey, here. Hey, big guy. I'm looking for Proto J. Know where I can find him? Unless he's the gardener. Haha, <laughs> you're, you're obviously real busy consuming your Schedule 1 illegal cyber narcotics over there. <laughs> I guess I'll leave you be. Have a good night. <laughs> Get me out here, Doc. I think I got a synaptovirus. A synaptovirus or something in my wet rare. Did you go bareback with your neural net? And when you connected to the Gates Walton Bank network during the heist? I was spearheaded in the operation, yeah? Fully jacked in. But I didn't see any black eyes or detect any progens or anything. I even did an antivirus scan on my noggin. Their countermeasures are designed to disguise themselves as anti-malware. The virus is probably devouring your cortex as we speak, waiting to broadcast your live stream, including our GPS coordinates, next time you connect to a Coastlandia WAN. Oh shit! Oh shit! shit, 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 shit. <laughs> shit indeed. <laughs> I'll have a look in a bit. <laughs> I wonder if they need spare parts. You are a long way from home, motherfucker. Get out of my face. <laughs> you are not welcome, Homo sapiens. Who are you calling sapiens, sapiens? You don't give off that Dickinson gutter snipe baller vibe of some of your homeboys. You seem a few gigawatts brighter than them, too, so I have to ask. What are you doing down here in the Chrome Boy's den with drug dealing gangster bots? If you must inquire, I am the in house surgeon. You mean you're one of the organ leggers for the Black Clinic end of the business? I prefer the term harvesting. <laughs> you harvest your own? You mean you chop your blooded brothers into pieces and sell the body parts off to the highest bidder? Isn't that like a shade away from cannibalism? Oh, excuse me, human. But there isn't exactly an abundance of legitimate jobs for robots. Unless we want our brains lobotomized first. Corporations, vastly if not entirely run by humans, do not want their mechanics and waiters and candlestick makers to ask for a pay raise. I stayed in school, 
jumped through the right hoops and acquired an MD degree. I was on the fast track to becoming a doctor. A surgeon, actually. And I was damned good at it. Like Michelangelo with a scalpel. To quote my transgenic craniotomy professor, and unlike some humanoids, I didn't just download some big data, some algorithmatized expert system BS into my cyberbrain. No, I actually did the eight years of undergrad and medical school the hard way. Because I wanted to prove to the high class humans up in the stratoplex that I was just as hard working, that I deserved a place. I was a machine, but also a person, just like them. Duh, but what human is going to pay a robot doctor, let alone one that asks for $60,000 a year, allotted refurb time, workers' compensation, benefits, when they could just pay a soulless medbot that works 24-7, 365, non-stop, without asking for a single cent? No, sir. There is nothing for we sentient robots out there. They only want mindless drones. So that's why I'm down here with my people. <laughs> oh, sure, I don't agree with everything some of my misguided robot brethren do. The drugs, the lithium. I've seen the best and brightest robot minds of my generation destroyed by this flecking madness. But we don't get to choose our hand, comrade. Prince, peon, rich, poor, human, robot. High city, low city. We simply deal with the hand we're dealt. Move forward. Have a good night. I'm still not gonna ask them. Not yet. Hello. Nice greenery, uh, purplery? Nice tree, man. Hello, human. My name, Jen. <laughs> uh, hi, Jen. I'm Carl. Jen has a nice tree, yes. Beautiful <laughs> tree. Yeah. Jen was a gardener helper bot in pretty nice high city. So, how'd you fall down here? Jen, make a mistake. Make purple flowers for Princess Sybil's coronation party. They ask for red. <laughs> you got a color wrong? Yes, Jen is defective. Trash. <laughs> Throw Jen from Pretty Sky Castle. Down, down, down. Into the junk pile. Jen is error. Jen is bugging the system. Jen is replaced. Jen live with rats and dead cars in junkyard. One day, Jen get idea. <laughs> Jen have all knowledge on biology, microbiology, synthetic nanotechnology in Jen brain. Jen get lonely with no pretty trees and plants to take care. So Jen make new life from metal and plastic and methane and phosphate in junkyard. Make new aluminum based DNA oh. structure. New life from metal. Wait. Are you saying you invented these non-carbon-based uh, metal tree life forms? Created an entire new kingdom of life while you were hanging around in a junkyard? Jen become very lonely. <laughs> God take blackness, emptiness. Create life. Man create conscious machines. Man builds Eden, high floating pretty city. Man casts machine out of Eden into emptiness, junk, rubbish pile. Machine creates life. And God saw that it was good. Makes sense, no? Let there be light. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, as long as your friendly metal trees, metal trees don't turn the entire planet into gray goo. This should not happen. Jen, think. <laughs> Don't the chroma trees need sunlight to do some kind of artificial photosynthesis or something? Native terrestrial tree evolved from primordial soup? Yes, must do photosynthesis to perform metabolic function. Design organism? It can be made to invert photosynthesis. <laughs> this pretty baby here, it take lithium, 
Catalyze <laughs> into light. Instead of leaves convert sunlight into energy, leaves convert energy into sunlight. Let there be light. Wee uh, take care of that tree, Jen. Okay, goodbye, Carl, human. <laughs> okay, I need to save in the meantime before I forget. Try to shove some coins in here. Oh, okay. Can I zap it? No, okay. Okay, let's ask them. You are not. You look like a man of, I mean, a machine of reason. I need to see Proto-J. I have important business to discuss regarding his inventory. I'm certain I have no idea who you're talking <laughs> about. I'd leave now if I were you. If you'd like to exit with all your constituent components intact. Have a good night. What about him? You are long way from home, mother flacker. Get out of my face. Oh, okay. Oh, well, let's ask him. Huh? Oh. Okay, then. Hey, big guy. I'm looking for Proto J. Know where I can find him? Say, that's uh, some nice hardware you got there. Is that a <laughs> no-spec quant cloak you have there? And an antimatter detonator? <laughs> Jobs H. Christ. This guy must be an ex-special ops super assassin or something. Probably very friendly. Oh, I better not piss this guy off. Or he might turn this entire area code into a crater of <laughs> volcanic glass. <laughs> okay, can you ask him again? Nice screen. Hello, human. Uh, Jen. Yeah. Jen. So, Jen. You got. Yes, Jen. Jen. Wait. Jen, Jen, <laughs> Jen, Jen. Oh, okay, so I'll Don't the this again. Native to design this. Bye. Uh, okay. Goodbye, Carl, human. Oh, do I need to beat him again? So, if I talk to hey. him again? You better beat it. Yeah. Right, so I probably should have lost him the first time around. Ugh, okay. Wait, so I can't ask him again. Well, fuck. Reload probably. Okay, so you ready to blast it? Yeah, yeah I'm re ready. Uh, hold on a sec. Let me figure out these controls. I haven't played one of these in ages. Okay, so up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, E, A, start. What the heck are you doing over there? Uh, nothing. How the hell are you doing That's <laughs> like... How the hell? Ah. I don't know what names. Carl Carbon. X-Cop Carbon. 
So you must. I was for what? Something. Wait. You were the. It's more. Hey. But f enough of. Well. What? I'm in. So. Ja I'm now. Corrupt. That's. Hey. Uh, yeah. Then there's. Okay. So. Hey. So you think you could throw me a bone on this Proto J guy now? All right. Proto J. You want to see the six billion dollar baller? Hey. <laughs> a lot of people want to see him nowadays. <laughs> Interesting name for a myth dealing slum bot. Is that a Chrome Boy inside joke? I think it started as an underground hip hop artist handle. Like Ice T, or Flavor Flav, or something. Anyway, you see that giant alien looking Chrome Boy <laughs> sitting at the bar, sucking back on the Mythian tap. Yeah, I see him. That's Talos. He's a high ranking Chrome Boy, for obvious reasons. Rumor is, he escaped from a Coke Jobs corporate government super lab. Experimental weapon. Broke out of the mental prison of his neural lock. Disabled his kill switch. Killed the humans that made him. All that. Some say, he's an Honest to Fox Molder Area 51 extraterrestrial. <laughs> That's two headed horseshit, though, if you ask me. But yeah, if anyone knows what Proto J is, it's gotta be Talos. Okay. Okey Just go up to Talos and ask where Protege is. Ha <laughs> ha. No, no, it'll be fine. He's kind of badgery and freaky as hell. But you just gotta keep pestering him, and Talos will come through. You gotta be tough, Alrighty. and Talos will respect that. Trust me. Okay. All right, Hoyt. I gotta go. Don't forget to talk to the big guy at the bar. Gotta save again. Okay, now I wanna I wanna talk to the other guys again, but I think I will cut this episode here and do the talking in my own time. Thank you very much for watching. I will put all the near few doodads into the description. Steam green light, etc etc. See you in the next one. Bye!